Hello everybody, um, this is a, a really big unboxing from the cubicle. I believe there's 11 cubes in here. So, let's get right into it. This is my biggest unboxing, uh, just in general, not even on this channel. So, I'm just gonna open it right here. Oh, okay. Well, so I got some, you know, little small things. There's some three recce mods. Wow, this thing is tiny. Okay. Let me put the small stuff in first. Something. Oh, yeah, I got this one by one since it was just on sale. That's cool. They keep coming. They're still coming. Wow, this this one's actually pretty big. Okay, I didn't I didn't notice that one. And we have this last. I have no clue what that is. So we'll see. Second, there's a receipt. So. This is from the cubicle.us. So thank you for sending me these puzzles. Um, you know what? I'm going to put these to the side and I'll be right back. You know what? Let's open the small ones first. <laughs> this is probably going to be my hardest puzzle. Actually, no. I have a zero by zero. It's even harder. Hey, this is pretty well made, actually. So this is the... Uh, size of a 2 by 2 QB, I'm pretty sure. Yep. I think it's 25 millimeters. These are very high quality. It's just a novelty item just to <laughs> put in the collection. Just imagine like having your 1 by 1, 2 by 2, 3 by 3, and so on. So, just a little dice thing. I'll put this off to the side. Jeez, there's. Okay, how about the keychain? This. This one's pretty small. It's 40 millimeters or 4 centimeters. This this one's by Mofeng G or something. Alright. This one's pretty small. Well, I don't... It feels kind of luby, but it feels... Like, the outside feels luby, but... In the inside feels dry, but this just to put on my backpack since I am starting school tomorrow. So just a little thing over there. I mean, here's the one by one compared to it. This is a pretty small one. How about how about this one next? So I don't know why I haven't gotten this thing yet. It's one by two by two, but I need it to complete my two by two collection. Technically, I still need the two by two by six. But I've got the 2x2x2, 2x2x3, 2x2x4. Now it's just this one to go. Nice, very simple. The Okay, yeah, so you can see we've got this the textured stickers. Let's just scramble it up here. We can, you know, it's like, it, this one might be fun to give to non-cubers. Like here, take one of these and then they just turn it, turn it, and then they solved it. All right, next one. So, okay, so I have a floppy cube already. Um, if you watch my other videos, I actually made an unboxing on the floppy cube, but I made a, a floppy cube illusion inspired by Super Antonio Vivaldi, I believe. And it worked, it was okay. <laughs> it works a little bit, but I wanted um, another Three by three by one because I need one to for my collection. Hey, this one actually turns better out of the box than my YJ, which was the other one I had. This is QJ. Uh, this one was on sale, I think. But, yeah, these are all super floppies, which means they could shape shift with it, which is really nice. And I like the color scheme on this because now I could get like you know these types of cube whites. They actually the whites actually on the top, which is really nice. Okay, so here's our four little mini cubes. I'll put these off to the side. Next one, this is this is gonna be a long video. You know what? I don't know what this is. 
Oh, okay, this is a Dian Shang Crazy 3x3x2. I heard these are pretty bad, but I still wanted one. Oh, okay, so the circles are on this side. Not on this side. Yeah, since it's a 2x2 a two two puzzle. So this part rotates by itself, and this part, the circle rotates. It's connected to this, if that makes sense. So I could turn it here. Okay, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh boy, what next? This one looks like a small one. Got it quite a bit of small ones already. Ah, oh, okay, okay, this is... Whoa, this is so weird. That's so cool. Um... So this is the Landland 3x3 Diamond, and what's interesting is... We've got two green sides, two of each color, which will probably add a bit of challenge, as you can see here. It's pretty interesting, but it's pretty much just a 3x3 mod, as you can see here. Now, this is a um, rhombic dodecahedron, so it's a non-shape-shifting non dodecahedron. I don't have the 3x3 version of the shape-shifting version, but I do have the 2x2 version, which is this guy, and it's a shape-shifting version. This one doesn't shape shift and it's a lot smaller but it's pretty cool it looks like a skew right here I'm not gonna keep rambling on about these puzzles I gotta get through them all before you know, it passes 10 minutes it probably will already it's my recording says it's seven minutes so far so this is the Z rainbow cube and this is very purple Wow It's not too bad. What does the checkerboard pattern look like? Yeah, uh, doesn't look right because of the color scheme, but it's pretty cool. So we've got like these corners which can be twisted and doesn't really matter if they're twisted or not unless you get some parity or something. Look, like these two edges can be swapped. so. That might add a bit of challenge and some parody. But this is a pretty cool one. Alright. It's just a 3x3 three three sticker mod. Okay, let's do another 3x3 three three mod. This one is a pretty interesting one. It recently came out. Nice, it came, comes with a stand. It recently came out. Um, and it looked really interesting, so I decided to get one. What in the world? Oh my. <laughs> so, this part's all been cut away, so now it's like, that's so weird. Yeah, so we've only got these edges and corners over here. What the heck? The um, We've got the transparent shades, which is pretty cool, actually. Since you can see the inner, uh, inner mechanism, it's like, look, like if I turn it here, this, like that piece is hanging out. It feels like it's gonna, like, fall apart. I'll have to go into this uh, a little bit later. Wait, can you actually put it on the stand there? Oh, you can! Okay. Yeah, I was wondering why they gave you a stand for this thing. It didn't look like it would stay. Alright. Three more to go. This This one's very interesting. This is the Pandora Cube. That doesn't sound good. Oh, oh, it's it's a three by three. What? Yeah, because I was surprised. Like, how did they do the checker pattern? But oh, so it's so it's just a three by three. That's shaped really weird. Oh, okay. That's actually kind of cool. It hurts your fingers. Like, I'm turning this right now, and these these things are so sharp. And, yeah, it hits my fingers. Pretty playable. Uh, this one, wait, that one's was by Moyu, right? Yeah. It's nice. Oh, we're at the 10-minute mark. So this one is a container puzzle. It's pretty much a skewed modification. This is big. Wow, uh, there's like, 
how do I explain it? It feels pretty cheap. So, yep, we've got a skew modification. No ball bearings, though. Um, I actually have another skew modification by Mofang G. This one. Which is also a skew modification. This is the Fisher version. So they look pretty similar, as you can see here. Alright, last one. Finally, the last puzzle. Now, this is another Dian Shang puzzle. This one I had my eye on for a while, but I never got it for some reason. Oh, okay. So it looks like a cap came off. Now, this color scheme is a little interesting, as you can see here. It's just one whole, like, section here. It's not one side. Hey, that doesn't turn to bad. I thought this... Okay, I thought this was going to be worse, <laughs> to be very honest. So, it's just another 3x3 three three shape mod. As you can see, we've got one, two, three. Just like this right here. One, two, three. But yeah, I thought the turning was going to be worse. Uh, I'm not in favor of the color scheme, though, because I wanted, like, every side to have a different color, not six. Like, not a whole big area just to be one color. I might re-sticker it. The 4x4 four four version actually, um, actually has 12 colors which is kind of interesting uh so well i think that's about it for this giant unboxing okay put it over here so it doesn't look like much here but you know i think it i still think it's pretty cool unboxing 11 cubes so hopefully you guys enjoyed this is my last video before school Actually, you know what? School is tomorrow. Um, I might be posting this today on Wednesday. But yeah, school will be tomorrow. Probably won't get as many videos done anymore. So this this will be, you know, the last video before school, which means that I'm gonna have less uploads during the whole year. I'll just put this guy in. So that's about it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a like. And if you want me to review any of these cubes or go into more detail, comment down in the comment sections below. Anyway, that's all. That's going to be it for me. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye.